In this video we're going to go and we're going to set up our newsletters and I'm going to show you how the thing works. Now first of all in the dashboard here you can subscribe to the WP autoresponder email newsletter. You just put your name and email address in here and subscribe and then you can get the newsletter. Now your subscribers when you get them will appear here so you'll have your newsletter name, confirm subscription, unconfirmed subscription and unsubscribe subscribers. So this is your stats that are going to show up at the top here. And then down here you can report a bug. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is set up a newsletter. You can't do anything until you set up at least one newsletter. Okay, and that's because you don't have any way to collect any subscribers yet. So you need to, to uh, create the newsletter. So let's create an initial newsletter here. Okay, so here we enter the name of a newsletter. This is shown to the subscribers when they unsubscribe and to you in the admin panel. Okay, so let's put a name in here. Okay, now these are hard to find. When Let me click over here. You'll see that it's very hard to find where these are over here. So they're just over on the right hand side. So let's give the newsletter a name here. We'll say list building. newsletter okay from name so this is the name that's going to show up when they receive the email okay so next we have the email address here it's going to set us it's going to set it to what we have on the admin page here unless we reset it here. Okay, we need to put in the reply to address here. So you can just put in the same thing if you want. So admin at and then the public description. This is, as it says here, that will be used on the unsubscribe page to describe the newsletter when listing all the subscriptions of the subscriber. Okay, so if they're subscribed to several of your newsletters, when they go to the unsubscribe page, it's going to show them all there. Okay, so let's just put list building. Now, even though it says here it will use the email address in your profile it doesn't seem to work let's just test it out here it's probably going to give me an error yeah see even though it says that you can leave that blank you actually cannot so we're going to just put our email address in there So they have a little bug there. Or, a, or, a, or they are not subscribe or not uh, describing right what needs to go there. Okay, so let's create the newsletter. Okay, so there you go. We have our first newsletter created. Now, some other things you can do here. You can manage leads, of course, we don't have any yet and we can add custom fields so if you want to add more fields you can add them here okay so if you wanted their address or their phone number or whatever you want you can add the new fields here okay so anytime you want to create a new newsletter you just put it in here okay now now we have a newsletter we can set up our autoresponders So we're, what we want to do is add an autoresponder. Okay, now first we're going to add the name of the autoresponder here. So let's call this the lead list. And then you would pick your newsletter out of here 
So if you had a list of them, you could pick them all here. I don't have the one, so let's add. Okay, so now we have our autoresponder and we have our newsletter. So the newsletter is the general heading and it gets the settings from there. And then the autoresponder determines the messages that go out and when they go out. Okay, so let's add a message. So this is where you start adding your autoresponder messages. You'll see there's a little editor in here or you can use a plain text email if you want. Okay, so your subject in here. So first lesson on building your list. Okay, and I'm going to use a plain text email. It's up to you how you want to do this. I found that plain text emails deliver better, but it's up to you how you want to do it. You can use the editor if you want to do it that way. Okay, now you see down here it says custom placeholder. So if you created some custom fields, they'd show up down here. You also have name here. Let's put it in there. So we go hi name and then content. See you next time. Okay, now over here to be sent. So we want to send it zero days after subscription. So that so when they subscribe, and then we're going to add the message. And there it is. Okay, let's add another message. Okay, and then you go through the same thing. Lesson two. So. Okay, plain text I'm going to use. Okay, now days after subscription. So it isn't the number of days since the last email, it's a number of days after you subscribe. So let's say three. Add message. Okay, so now we have day zero and day three. Okay, now the next, so we've already gone through custom fields next thing we do is a subscription form. You need to set up a form to collect your subscriptions. And this video is getting kind of long, so we're going to go over the rest of this in the next video.